Hi, welcome to this tutorial. In this session, we're going to solve question 16 from the KCSE Maths Paper 1 2018. So we are told a photograph print measuring 24 centimeters by 15 centimeters is enclosed in a frame. A uniform space of width x centimeters is left in between the edges of the photograph and the frame. If the area of the space is 270 centimeters squared, find the value of x. So let me just show you what this may look like. The blue one is your photo and then you have this black border and all this area is 270 centimeters square because that's the area between the edges of the photograph and the frame. And the width in between these two is x centimeters. So similarly here is x centimeters all around. So I've drawn, I've done a little bit of a sketch that looks like this. Our photograph is 15 times 24. And then I've divided these areas into oranges and purple. So we need to find all these areas and that's going to be equal to 270. We're going to make use of algebra. So we're going to write the equation and then find the value of x. So if we start with the orange area then, so the orange area, that's going to be equal, this whole width is going to be x here plus 15 here plus another x. So x plus x is 2x plus 15. So that's 2x plus 15. So that's just the width of this orange rectangle. Now we need to multiply this with the height, which is x. We also have two of them. So we need to double this. If you expand this, what would you get? 2x times x, 2x squared times 2. This is going to give you 4x squared. And then we have 15 times x times 2. This is going to give you plus 30x. So this is the orange area. And now let's find the purple area. So the purple area then, that's going to be equal the to the length of this photograph, 24 times this width, because it's just th that length times the width, which we know is x. Again, we have two of them, one on each side, so we need to double this. And this is going to be equal to 24 times 2, 48 x. So now let's do the total area, so the border of this uh, photograph, so total area is going to be equal to this area, 4x squared plus 30x plus this area here, 48x. Collect like terms and now it's going to be 4x squared plus 78x. X. So now this is what we have and we're going to form an equation because we're told this area, this border area is 270. So in terms of algebra, this is what we have. We're now going to equate the two. So we have 4x squared plus 78x. This is going to be equal to 270. We can see we have a quadratic equation here, which means we need to rearrange and have a zero on one side. So we're going to subtract 270. This is going to give us 4x squared plus 78x minus 270 equal to zero. Now we can see all the numbers here are divisible by two. So we're going to divide by 2 throughout. So 4x squared divided by 2, this is going to give us 2x squared plus 78 divided by 2, that's 39x minus this divided by 2 is 135. 
everything is equal to 0 divided by 2 is just 0 so we're just going to write 0. So now we have formed our quadratic equation what we need to do is just factorize and then solve for x but we can see the coefficient of x squared is 2. This means we need to split the middle term. So I'm going to take 2 and multiply by 135. So 2 times 135 gives me 270. Then I'm going to find factors of 270 that will give me 39 when I add or subtract. So I've got those two numbers as 45 times 6. Now if I add 45 plus 6, that will give me 51. So that's not going to work because I need 39. So this means this number plus needs to be plus 45. This number needs to be negative 6. So now I'm going to rewrite this as 2 x squared now i can see six goes well with two so i'm going to write six first negative six x and then plus 45 x and then minus 135 this is equal to zero so all i have here is the same as 39 x split them here and factorize so i've got common here is 2 x and then x minus I've got a 6 here and a 2 outside, so I need to put a 3 there. And then don't forget to bring this plus down, so I have a plus. Common here is 45, my bracket, and then x minus 45 times 3 is 135. So I'm going to put 3 here and then equal to 0. Now I can form my two brackets. So first one is going to be these numbers outside here. So that's going to be 2x plus 45. And then my next bracket is going to be just one of these. Which is going to be x minus 3 equal to 0. So now I can take one of the brackets. Let's take the first one and say 2x plus uh, 45 is equal to 0. Therefore, 2x is equal to negative 45, and therefore, x is equal to negative 45 over 2. And then I now can take the second bracket and I say, oh, x is x minus 3 is equal to 0, therefore, x is equal to 3. Now, what do you need to choose here? Well, I've got the first value as a negative number. Now, remember, we are talking about the width. The width cannot be negative. So your final answer, which you're going to conclude, is x is equal to 3 centimeters. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this session, please remember to like and also subscribe. Bye for now.